darken that a little bit, make that shoulder roll back ever so slightly. And I want to just push this um, top plane. So there's a bone right over here, scapula, and I need to show that little plane shift. And by showing that little plane shift, it's going to make the shoulder turn into her face um, a little softly. And it's also going to make that shoulder seem a little bit smaller. Um, and just chisel it. Remember, you need to show some bone so your joints don't look like rubber. Um, yeah, and that's where I talk about in my layered approach, the angles. So er, where do I use the angles in the layered approach? I use them on joints and bone that is like right near the edge of the skin. So the scapula right over here is really near the edge of the skin. So I use some angles and um, you're going to use roundness uh, when you see more muscle and less bone. Okay, so let's just kind of roll on down here and show a bit more of that deltoid. Okay, um, and now let's just a little tricep. This I wanna round off just a little bit because I on my preliminary joint, I really like how this forearm was nice and round. So I don't wanna overdo the arm. And you know, there's lots going on on my overexposed picture, but I gotta be careful that I don't copy it all and I be selective because I'm not drawing a muscle guy. Remember, I'm drawing, um, a hot sexy mama so just um, I gotta be careful with it with the detail that I, I don't do too much All right, so let me just I want to raise this ever so slightly um, while we were off camera I totally shortened this and I think I like the uh, preliminary drawing a little bit better and I like that this thing is really wrapping around her hips so I just wanted to uh, raise that so ever so slightly to see how that's gonna look 